Uh, it was disappointing. Uh, every time after a loss, it's never fun. <laughs> it's you know just like that everywhere. But um, it's it was that one day thing. You know, you, after 24 hours, you flush it away and you move on because nothing you can do about it. You know, you lost and now you just gotta you know try to improve the next week. Does it feel Jarrett pressing, pressing at all? Um, and I I can definitely feel that he's trying to you know improve himself and help us as a team. And I I, I can definitely tell that he's. Uh, you know, he cares a lot, and I live with the man, so I know I exactly see. He's wa always watching film. He's doing his thing, and he's trying to get better. He's really trying to help this team, and, you know, he gets a lot of a lot of heat from everybody, but, you know, he's handling it in a way that, you know, it's probably a good way. You know, it's probably better than I would handle it. Um, I mean, he signed up for the spot, so he expected, you know, one day he's loved and one day he's hated. So he's, um, he's trying to his best to help his team. Games you guys have lost, turnovers have been big, big issue. What can you guys do to fix that? Yeah, just uh, focus on the, the details. You know, we talk about turnovers all the time in practice. We do ball security, and um, the coaches always tell us, if you, if you don't turn the ball over, you win the game. And so, you know, we talked about these last two games we lost. Uh, each game we turned the ball over, and we lost. So uh, I, that could be not something that's more – that I have to take more pride in as a leader and ha help those young guys hold on to the ball and help Jarrett and, you know, just you'll come together as a team to focus on those details. What's the, the mindset now? Obviously, you know, playoffs probably out, the SEC championship's probably out, but where do you guys kind of turn, turn to now? Just given everything we got for these next five games, playing, playing as a team, playing as brothers, um, you know, playing for these seniors, including myself, because, you know, we got five games five to six games left for the rest of our lives, really, in college. And, you know, this is something I've been dreaming about since I was a little kid. And, it, you know, it, it's it's crazy to think we got five games. So, you know, I'm giving everything I got. And I don't I don't care what it has to take, but I'm giving everything and I'm going to have, you know, help these guys as much as I can. And that's what we're going to we're gonna play for each other and play for Auburn. You had a, a, a clean but a cut block on Congo that, that mm -hmm. you got hurt on. Phase you as a blocker when you do something like that. I know you didn't try to hurt him. Right? right. Yeah. Yeah. It always it always bugs me. Um, you know, I actually been thinking about that. And you know, I saw on Sunday where he hurt his hurt his knee and tore his ACL, and um, that's something that you know it, it's terif You know, it's terrifying. It's it's hard for any player, and that's why you know I try to help guys up because I know how much work is put into football. I know how much time and to see someone get hurt like that, especially when I do it. You know, it, it breaks my heart. And um, you know, I, I was, you know, debating if I should ride him or not. And I was like, this is a, it's football, though, and um, injuries are going to happen. But, yeah, it's, it's always a devastating thing, especially when I do it. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we're, we're, we're all in doing whatever. You know, we're just trying to win and get that momentum back. Um, just trying to, you know, take one day at a time, one game at a time. And um, just trying to give everything we have for these, you know, last five regular season games. How tough is it to stay positive and keep the locker room in a good place when you know entering the season what the expectation was versus what it is now? Yeah, I mean, it's it can be tough just because you know we had such high expectations as a team. But you know, me personally, it's not it's not as hard because you know it's so much more to winning. It's about you know creating memories and. You know, playing for the person next to you and for the for these team for our, my teammates and these fans and everybody. So, um, I mean, it's probably a little bit harder for the young guys because they don't really know yet. But you know, I've been through it for four years now, and uh, it, it, it's hard. But you know, you just got to keep pushing through, and um, you know, it's always going to be okay. I mean, you sort of take that positive approach, but what's do you have any concerns about just the team as a whole sort of taking that positive approach now that the preset season goals are? Sort of out of reach. Um, you know, I think the biggest thing is just keeping these young guys, because you know they're they're new from high school, and some of them might be like, you know, what are we even playing for? You know, we're not playing for a championship now. Um, so I think it's us, uh, our job as leaders to you know make sure they're locked in and make sure they're giving everything we got. Because once we do that, if we can do that, then you know I think we'll be unstoppable. This video was brought to you by Caliber, 
a luxury store in Homewood, Alabama that's reviving the finer things in hunting and fishing.